But first tonight, a Providence kindergartner is killed after being struck by a truck in Providence. We first told you about this heartbreaking story on Eyewitness News at noon. Tonight, we hear reaction from an eyewitness of this tragic accident. Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy joins us now live with our new coverage at 11. What started out as a night of fun quickly takes a turn for the worse. We're learning more tonight and hearing from witnesses who say they saw and heard how Derek Johnson was killed. Candles, balloons, and stuffed animals all placed feet away from where six-year-old Providence boy was killed. Nothing ever I'll forget. I see it with my eyes open. Reza Edwards lives on Rosendale Street and was standing outside of her house with her kids when police say a pickup truck struck Derek Johnson as he was crossing the road. Edwards ran over to help him. There's nothing that will ever take this image from my mind. My daughter, seeing my daughter keeps asking for him and if he's going to be okay. And I don't know how to explain to my daughter that he's not going to come back. My daughter's only four years old. So everybody's children seen it. This is something that really could have been avoided. The boy's mother was taking him and her other children to their cousin's house across the street to go to the circus. The family is trying to find ways to cope with such a terrible loss. It does everything together, like absolutely everything together. Uh, it's difficult. I don't know how we will, but by the grace of God, we have to. Witnesses on scene tell us the driver kept going after hitting the boy and finally pulled over at the end of the street. Police arrested 39-year-old Andreas Morales of Providence and charged him with driving without a license. He pleaded not guilty in court on Monday and is being held by Immigration and Customs Enforcement. No matter what the outcome, Family members tell us it won't bring Johnson back, but it could help bring justice. Family members of the victim tell me that they are working on setting up funeral arrangements, hopefully for this Friday. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Mara Kennedy, Eyewitness News.